Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, I have discussed about the route. I hope you get some of the little idea how that route functionality work and how to load some of the view page. Now in this video, I want to discuss about the blade syntax. Like there is a blade.php I have created on the page as a about. I have created another page as a contact, right? There is a contact and after that I have added that extension as a blade.php. So when you use that as a blade.php, you can actually add some of the syntax in particular HTML area. So that is the supported by that blade.php. Like I show you here that I want to create another new file. Okay, I want to create another new file. I just name it as a test. Okay, I click as a save as and name it as a test. T sorry, test dot blade dot php so when you use that as a blade dot php extension then you, that will be supported as some of the syntax that is a blade syntax they have some of the default blade syntax like as a in php when you um, echo some of the data what exactly we do like i just simply here we have to write down as a php right and then we have to close that php that is a php close and into the php close area i take one of the variable as a world Okay, I make it as a word that is one of the variable and into this variable area I want to add some of the string value as a high Aryan So that is one of the string value right now if you want to display that string value you have to do you have to echo it So that is echo and then we have to echo or that variable as a word Then you have to do you have to echo it right then that will be display our text as a high Aryan but right now you are using that blade syntax and into this blade syntax if you want to echo some of the variable data then only you have to do you have to use it as a double curly bracket okay and into this double curly bracket if you simply pass some of the variable data then you can pass it directly in here so that is a blade syntax if you want to echo some of the data you have to do you have to use that double curly bracket and then you have to add your variable name in here so that will be supported when you use that as a blade.php extension okay friend i hope you get some of the idea and in php when you use any if condition what exactly we do like if you want to add if condition here we have to add that condition into this condition area like if there have any variable data and then we have to do that is if condition and then if condition will be and if you want to add that else so then that will be our else condition so that is our php format but in blade syntax if you want to use that if condition is very easy simply you have to do you have to add that as a add the rate and then if so that is a blade syntax and then that is our if condition into particular that area you can actually add all that your condition and then you have to do also and it you have to end it by the and if condition okay and that is the another blade syntax and also for the for each that will be that different like if you want to add some of the for each then that will be at the rate and then for each okay that for each and also you have to you have to end it that is and for each so that is another blade syntax so when you access that for each you have to use that blade syntax as a at the rate for each and you have to end it when you access um, the if condition into the blade syntax then that will be as if and then the and if okay and then also as i told you if you want to display some of the variable data if you want to print some of the data we have to print it with our double curly bracket simply remember all that blade syntax okay literally everything will be needed okay friends so that is actually blade syntax so when you created one of the blade.php extension then you can, that will be supported with our blade syntax as a for each the if condition the variable okay i hope you get some of the idea in our next video i will discuss about how to deal with the controller so as i told you friend step by step will go more deep and everything will be very much clear to you so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video